More now mm -hmm. on today's nearly $800 million settlement agreement between Fox and Dominion. Moments before opening statements were set to begin. Joining me now is Dominion Voting Systems lead attorney, Justin Nelson. Mr. Nelson, thank you for being here. Um, I, I guess I'll just ask you sort of the, the elephant in the room question. What would you say to those who are disappointed um, that Dominion didn't go to trial and get the full vindication of making Fox's lead anchors get on the stand and admit what they did to your company? Well, all along, Dominion has had really two goals in this, which is number one, accountability, and number two, to try to make the harm that Dominion has suffered, to try to have some recompense for that. And we have succeeded, I think, wildly on both accounts. On the accountability point, Fox is paying north of three quarters of a billion dollars. Uh, you have seen and the world has seen the internal texts and emails, the mountain of texts and emails, we think that really show the actual malice, the knowledge that these were all lies. And that is really that accountability point that we were after. And from a harm perspective, Dominion and its employees have just suffered a tremendous, tremendous amount of harm. And today really was a day of vindication. And of course, it's a little bittersweet because of course we would have liked to have seen the hosts take the stand and, and others. But at the end of the day, what we really cared about was that accountability. And, and today we think we achieved it. Uh, you know, and I think I can agree with you. I think most people will agree with you on the second point. I mean, Dominion obviously was harmed. That I was saying in an earlier in the earlier block, it's hard to imagine a red state governor uh, being willing to do business with Dominion based on what they were being told on Fox News. But on the first point that you made, uh, here is here here is my question: um, If you don't get an on-air apology, and if Fox News doesn't correct what they said about Dominion to their own viewers. They may never know any of this happened, because remember, we're here talking to you on Earth One. Earth Two is where Fox News and its audience live. They don't listen to this, what we're saying. They only hear what Fox News anchors tell them. So do you feel that it would have been important for you to get in this settlement that Fox News must tell their uh, audience in their own words on their shows that they lied about Dominion? What we felt was really important was the accountability aspect of it. And I think whatever else happens, you can't hide from paying nearly $800 million and having that in a public settlement. And so the message that I think this case really has shown is that we will hold people accountable for lives. And the civil litigation system can only do so much what we have done is hold Fox accountable, and we intend to do so for the other six lawsuits that we have. We're not going to stop here. We believe it is so, so, so important to hold people accountable for the lies. And remember, this is the very first case across any of the cases about the 2020 election lies that has actually held somebody accountable. And that's why we think Today is really a great day for the truth and a great day for trying to set the record straight and, and to help promote this idea that we can disagree on issues, but we must have these shared facts together. Uh, ha has Dominion received an apology privately or will it receive one publicly from Fox and from News Corp? Well, yeah, you saw their statement today. And again, we thought Wasn't this was quite really an apology. important <laughs> that... Well, they acknowledged that it was false, and they acknowledged the summary judgment order that was talking about it. And so all we can control is what we can control. And from that perspective, what we think is we have taken this really to the point of showing what has happened, showing the world what happened behind the scenes, getting to a jury. We picked a jury today, right before it settled. And we got to a point where, from Dominion's perspective and Dominion and its employees, the uh, financial accountability was also there, especially at the number that was over three quarters of a billion dollars. All right. Uh, Dominion Voting Systems lead attorney Justin Nelson, thank you for being here.